Hey everyone, Josh Smith with GotToBeMobile.com. I want to give you a closer look at Android 4.0. One of the first things that you'll notice is a new lock screen. What I really like about this is that you can put your owner info on the front. So here you see I have my name, a phone number, and my email address. So if my phone is locked and someone finds it, they know how to get in touch with me. From the lock screen, you can swipe to the left to get to your camera, or to the right to unlock. You can also do facial unlock here, but we found that it can be fooled by a picture of yourself, like your Facebook profile, or even by a friend that might look just a tiny bit similar to you. So if I go to the left, it'll pop to the home screen and then into the camera, which is handy to help you get to your camera faster so you can take a photo. You can also do video and panorama shots. And you'll notice that the buttons kind of disappear here so you're not distracted by them. So in Android 4.0, you'll see we have new buttons along the bottom. These are soft buttons, so they're actually part of your screen. We have back, home, and multitasking. We've lost the menu button. I'll give you a quick look at multitasking. When you hit multitasking, you get a nice layout of all of the apps you have open, and you can scroll up and down. It's easy to find them and switch to the app you want. In this case, we'll head over to Gmail so I can show you what the menu button looks like. Down here in the lower right, you'll see three dots. Now, it could be down here in the lower right, or it could be in the upper right. Uh, it could be hidden a little bit. It's one of those things that Google has left up to the app to figure out where to put. If I want to go back, I can hit back, head over to my labels, or hit home and go to my home screen. You'll also notice that we have a new favorites dock. This is very similar to the home dock in iOS 5. And if I hold down here, I can drag something out, drag something else in. So you can customize this. Each of these two on the side of your app tray are able to be customized. And you can even drag a folder there. So here we have a folder. So we have access to all our Google apps. And what's nice is no matter what screen we're on, we can get to all those apps. Another nice thing is revamp notifications. So we still have the same notification drawer. Where we have a notification, I can swipe to the right to clear one notification, or I could have hit that X to clear all notifications if I had multiple notifications. One thing that I do wish was in there was a little access to common settings like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, and brightness. Uh, some devices have had right there a similar widget in the past. But you do have access to settings. If you touch right here, you go straight to your device settings, so you can manage some of that pretty quickly. One of the nice things about Android 4.0 is that you can see what you're saying appear on screen as you talk. So if you're using dictation, you get to see what it thinks you're saying. As you can see on the screen right now, it's obviously not the best at dictating. Hopefully, this will get better over time. I'm using the voice headset right now, but you can just talk right to the device. Period. If you... So, another cool feature is that you can see the words that you type, but they're not always perfect. In this case, you can see that it's picking up words that are in that I've used in Gmail or words that are just things need used. Head over to gottobemobile.com to check out our full Galaxy Nexus review for a closer look at the device, how it handles, and how fast 4G LTE is.